as floodwaters from Hurricane Fiona recede. For families in southern Puerto Rico, it's time to clean up. Category one, like we don't know how this happened, like how it got this bad. We just being category one. But it's a lot of rain. It's a lot of rain, exactly. Yahaira Rodriguez says the hurricane caught her off guard. There was the bathroom. It's horrible right now. Her home was still being repaired after being damaged during Hurricane Maria in 2017. Jahida says she wasn't expecting the damage from Fiona to be so severe. It was worse than Maria because in Maria it was more air than water, like the wind, it was really strong. And in this one, it was more rain and less wind. A state of emergency remains in effect in Puerto Rico, allowing the U.S. government to send assistance to tens of thousands of people. And this level of federal assistance is going to greatly assist in our ability to continue to provide the efforts that are needed to support those who need it most. The southern region of the island was the worst hit by Fiona. Here, floodwaters are still on the doorsteps of many residents. Up and down the neighborhood streets here in the community of Salinas in southern Puerto Rico, it's the same scene playing out. People are clearing out the mud, throwing away their damaged personal belongings. The storm may have passed, but the suffering is still not over. Some half a million people in Puerto Rico are without running water and thousands more without electricity. Authorities warn it could be several days before electricity returns to everyone on the U.S. island territory. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Salinas, Puerto Rico.